Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at how to design and set up a live streaming website. So we'll be implementing some features. We'll be implementing Zoom, Dacast and uh, membership feature. So let's get on with it. Now in the previous video I have uh, make a vi make videos on how to how to use Elementor to design your web pages and how to install WordPress from your cPanel. So if you haven't watched those videos, make sure to watch that before watching this. So without further ado, let's go. So the first thing we'll be doing is to install the team we'll be using for this website. Then the page builder. So it has the default team. So just click on add new. And um, you can search for your view writing. So personally, I like using Astra. So I think, uh, yes. So click on install. It said installation failed so that means that we have already installed it before all right so this is it so click on activate yes so the for the page builder we'll be using is a uh, elemental so go to plugin click on hard new search for your page builder you can use what well bakery page builder you can also use beating so whichever you like so click on install Then you activate it. Now the next thing is to <clears throat> is to install our Zoom plug plugin. Now you have to note this: there are many Zoom plugins out there. So you need to make sure that you are using the right one, and uh, you have to follow this uh, this link right here. So copy, come here. So once you have uh, downloaded that, okay, the page is still loading. So click on free download.
So let's try to log in first. Before we download. Let's try to look in. Okay. All right. So now we cannot download the plugin. We have login. So we just click to download. That's yeah, okay. So we got the plugin now. Let us uh, upload it. So go to plugins again, click on hard name. Upload plugin now. Choose the file. So it should be in downloaded. So this is it. So click on install. Okay, that was our mail. Let's do it again. Okay, it seems we have to trace it back. Okay, so it is deleted. Let's download it again. So here we go. Click on install. So activate. So we also need to so okay. so we will be downloading the social oh, click on hardening first. So we will be downloading the membership plugin.
All right, so dizzy. There are many plugins you can use, but I personally love to use this. So click on activate. So let's try to design a page and um, let's add in. Okay, there's a network problem right now. So <clears throat> publish it, edit with Elementor. So we just try to add a page where people can view what we want to be streaming. Okay, that, that won't be an issue. We don't actually need to design a whole page. We just need to place some short code for the uh, for the features to appear on the website. So we just stick with what we can use. So. Short code. Yeah, so for example, if you want to implement um, the cast, so just copy, you should have your uh, your code ready. So just copy it, click on update. And let's preview how it will look like. So yeah, so you can see it. You can see how we, how it look like. So once you start streaming from your Dacast uh, account, it will be appearing live on your website.
so let, let's try to hard zoom now so let's try to hard zoom as well so now before we hard zoom we need to do something first we need to set the zoom api and see api key and save it api key so just call me so this is my uh, my api key how you can get that i will show us at the end of this video So now click on save changes. So you can see it now has lots of options before it was only two options the zoom meeting and the settings so you just click on zoom meeting so uh it will show all the zoom meetings you have been attending before or you have been using before once you have implemented this api secret key so let's try to implement the short code now we don't need this again I think we should switch back to So just call me Copy that Paste it here now there's something we need to do you see this number this is a dummy number you can see it is one two three four five so we need to replace it so now come to your meeting suppose we we, we want to do my meet we want to let my meeting show so just copy your unique code come here and replace it yes so i'll click on update so let, let us preview it once again So this is the cast and this is the zoom meeting. Now it should not appear like this normally, but the reason why is that the website I'm using for this training doesn't have a native SSL. So it won't work on a website that has that doesn't have a valid SSL certificate. So that's the reason it is not shown. Normally, it will show uh, like countdown to when the video will start instead of showing all this. So, and that's how to implement them on your web page. Now, how did now the uh, the membership with the membership feature? So, go come to settings. Okay. Uh,
let me check if the, if the plugin is activated it also show on that settings so it is activated already So it's all to show on that settings, but I don't know why it's not appear. So let's try to deactivate it. And activate it back. Okay, so definitely, I think we have activated the wrong plugin. Okay, I think this is it. So, uh, MK shop. MK. That should be it. So this is the pro version. I will also be teaching us how to use that as well. All right. Yes. Yeah, so we have it right here. So we uh, activated the wrong plugin earlier. So click on click on it. So first we need to activate that anybody can register when they come to our website. So let's try to activate that settings before we fully set up the plugin. Anyone can register, just tick this box. Come to the bottom, click on save changes. Now let's go and set it up. So this is it. So, uh, now the this is the free version of the plugin, but the pro version is more effective, and the pro version is what we'll be using. Now, where do you want people to log in? The login page. So we haven't created a page for that yet. So let's let let's quickly create a new page.
so click on it now this is a short code <clears throat> this is a short code you need to place on this particular page for the login mo login model pop-up to appear so the registration page let's make it the same let's just make it the same as well so click on save changes now let's come back to that uh, page we created so we can place the short code on the page and the form can appear when subscriber comes up So paste it, publish, and let's preview. So here we can see now. Let's try to view the page on another browser. I'm already logged in. Copy link. I'm already logged in. So that's why it says you are currently logged in. So let's use another browser to view the page. So you can see that. So if you are here to log in on your account, this is how it will appear to you. So you can sign and you can also register new account. So now <clears throat> let us configure the, the plugin properly. So I think we can also see uh, the forgot password yes so everything is on the same page and that's how it should be so now when people log in where should they be redirected to you can see but if you want to choose the direct way to page you have to activate your pro version and this is where the pro version comes in so come to this website so here we are click on my account it will ask you to sign up so what you will do now if you haven't created an account yes you create an account with them purchase the plugin then install the plugin so let me try to log in right now So, login successfully. You see that you can now close this window. So, just click on close. So you can see. So come here, click on download. So this is a pro plugin. Click on download it.
so this is the API key we need to fill before we can fully activate the pool plugin. So let's come here. Ajax plugin. So it is uploading. I see. So I think that's uploaded. Activate blocking. So we now activate the plugin with the given API key. So enter your API key right here your email click on save changes so here we are we have activated the plugin now let's fully configure Plugin so it can redirect users to the page you want it to be directed. So click on this. The page. So select the page. Uh, the video page. So click on save changes. So let us test this out now. So let, let me create a new account. So we should also set this up as well after registration accounts. You direct to a page and auto login. Yes, so you can also choose all this. Video page logout after logout actions. So just stay on the page. You can also choose a page as well just like I did above now let me try to let now let me try to log in so test Pause. Now suppose we choose email verification the other time. This one. Yeah, this one. That means that a mail will be sent to your email to confirm that you are registered on this particular website. So you have to make sure you enter the correct details. So click on accounts, click on create accounts. and um you can see that we are being redirected
so you have been redirected to the login page and that is how you can set up your your membership website of course if you can't afford the pro version there are also free plugins you can use on uh, on wordpress website so that would be all for today but before i go i said i'm gonna show you how to obtain your zoom api key so go to zoom.us so just sign so i also have my details here Yes. So come to settings, go to app marketplace. So click, go to develop, click on build app. signed us out again so <clears throat> we have signed in now click on build app so this is the app you need now you can see that i have already created the app that i needed so that's the reason why it's not giving me an option to create but i can still view what i've created so this is it and if you want to regenerate it just click here click here and uh, it will be regenerated so you only need api key and api secret and that is all so that is all about our training for today if you have any question do let me know in the comment section down below thank you very much thanks for watching